Today, in a virtual appearance before Congress, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker called on the federal government to require Americans wear face coverings. We need a national masking mandate. The governor not only weighed in on the simmering political debate about masks, but also pushed for a national containment strategy. Pritzker wants additional federal financial assistance, clarity on insurance coverage for COVID testing, and emergency funding for the National Guard through next year. COVID-19 has already killed 133,000 Americans, about 7,000 of them Illinoisans. As he routinely does, Pritzker unloaded on the Trump administration's response. We fully expected the federal government, home of the Centers for Disease Control and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, would arm the states with information and equipment and testing capability and personnel. And Pritzker accused the White House of breaking promises on testing and delivering personal protective equipment. In the midst of a global pandemic, states were forced to play some sort of sick Hunger Games game show to save the lives of our people. There was no national plan to acquire PPE or testing supplies. And as a result, people died. Pritzker and President Trump have repeatedly clashed over the coronavirus response. Back in April, President Trump told reporters Pritzker is always complaining. After his testimony today, Pritzker visited this mobile testing site in Chicago. The governor says COVID-related deaths in Illinois are down 85% from a high eight weeks ago, and overall cases are down 71% from the peak.